What's going on guys? Hope all is well with you. We're going to wait for everybody to get on here and so we can get this thing started and ready to go. Man, it's been a while since I've done this. Hopefully you guys can hear me clearly and also see me clearly. Let's try to find the right angle. What's going on Peyton, man? Also Peyton, apologize to you, man. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, man. We will talk, man. Don't hold me to it too much, man, for not being able to get in contact with you. But we will link up soon, Peyton. So good to see you, buddy. What's going on, everybody? So we're waiting for everybody to get on here. And soon we'll get straight to business and get these lures unboxed and see what I got in here, guys. What's going on, Garrett, man? Good to have you in the house, man. <laughs> Just want to check, Peyton. I'm not that type of guy, man. But we will fish. Oh, uh, what's up, KG? Got my brother in the house, man. Good to have you in here, man, as always. <laughs> so, guys, we've got a couple of crazy baits I'm going to unbox pretty shortly. Uh, some pretty unique stuff as usual. You know, I like the swim bait stuff and also some different lures. I like to have things that everybody doesn't have. Let's see. Oh, what's going on, uh, Andreas Ford? Jared, what's happening, man? You know it's good to have you in here. Carlson, what's up, man? What's going on, man? You know it. Well... With that, actually, man, that's one of the baits I'm going to get into. Uh, as far as the setup, man, with that particular bait, man, you can do it a couple ways. You can either use it as a jig trailer or you can use it uh, as a flipping and pitching technique. Let's see. Let me get to some of these comments. Just a couple more shout-outs. Alex, what's going on, man? Uh, no luck on the chatterbait quite yet. Hey, man, good luck to you. I'm sure with that chatterbait, you're going to catch one pretty soon. The bass should be very active and moving up and getting ready to feed for fall. Let's see, Peyton. Uh, Jared caught any hauls lately? I don't know, man. You have to holler at Jared, man. I think we caught a, he caught about a two or three pounder uh, on Sunday. All right, guys. So I'm not going to hold everybody up, and we're going to get into these baits. So this is the first box, guys. Um, This was a really cool bait. It's one that I wanted to buy for a very long time, and plus they're not crazy expensive. Uh, rolling, what's going on, man? <laughs> All right, so we're popping this bad boy open, and we're going to see what we got. So these are some really cool swim baits. Um, they're not crazy expensive, and at the particular place I go to, I can't wait to fish these because they're weedless, and that is huge. A lot of these places in Georgia have ponds that's full of grass. So these first ones, some of you guys may have heard of, some of you guys may have not. This is actually the bluegill color. Uh, the shell bag custom swim bait. This is the six, six inch version. I feel like this one would be crushed. Um, and it's weedless, which I can work it down in that grass and not have to worry about getting snagged up. So the really cool thing about this bait is a lot of times at swim baits, when you're fishing them, uh, a bass will hit them and they actually uh, get balled up in the bass mouth and they throw your hook sometimes. But with this particular bait, it's super flexible. So you won't have to worry about that. And also with this one, it's actually built around that beast size 10 hook. So with these plastic baits like this, guys, if you ever buy one of these, make sure whenever you put that owner beast hook in there that you don't take it out. Because if you take it out of this particular bait, it pretty much messes the nose up of the bait. And it's never the same after you take out the hook. So with these particular baits, once you buy your hooks and you insert them in there, don't take them out. So really cool bait. One cool thing about this, this one is it has a really crazy tail kick when it goes to the water. That body stays flat and the tail just goes back and forth and it's weedless. So I can punch with this guy and I also can just swim it straight into the grass. So this is going to be huge and most of the bodies of water I fish have bluegill. Uh, one of the theories behind this bait also is that this tail doesn't get seen much but it kicks off a ton of vibration. So the fish primarily sees this portion of the bait which is a fairly small size bluegill, snake size. So as a comparison, this thing should get bit. It's not intimidating and that tail cooks off a, I mean, the tail throws off a ton of vibration, especially in dirty water. Let me show you guys the hook size for this bad boy. <clears throat> so whenever you throw these baits, you also gotta have a good size hook. So this is the owner 10 out beast hook. You get two of these in a pack. Let me open up one of these guys so you will know how big this hook is. <clears throat> so this is a 10 out hook. It's it's massive guys. I just wanna 
show you an image of that. So, and the important thing about this is with this screw in lock, that actually goes down into the bait. So, once you put it in there, make sure you get it in the right spot and don't take it in and out. So, I'm gonna get into these couple of questions, guys, before we move on. I don't wanna be rude. <laughs> but we got a couple more things to unbox, too. I just wanna catch up, guys. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's see, Roland said I, I unboxed some um, baits today. Got some Guggen Squad baits. I heard pretty good things about Guggen Squad baits. Uh, found that they do work. Let me see. And also, they're just a bit different that the fish don't see. That's true, man. It's always important to have something the fish don't always see. And I heard pretty good things about the Guggen baits, so I'm going to have to try them out. What's going on, Dosa Real? Good to have you in the house, man. Peyton Carlson. What's up, man? Want to go fishing Monday or Tuesday? Man, unfortunately, I have to work. I am going to be in uh, South Georgia this weekend. And I'm probably going to try to meet up with a couple of friends. Let's see. Jerry Adams, that is a sweet shellback bait. Yeah, man. The shellback bait also comes in like a couple different sizes. It goes all the way up to an 8 out. That's actually the, I mean, a size <laughs> 8 inch bait. That's a 6 inch bait. And they have one that's a smaller profile. The 8 inch bait is fairly new for them. Let's see. Gavin, what's going on, man? Good to have you in the house, bro. Let's see. Dubs, hey, what's your thought on the Guggen baits? I haven't personally tried them. My buddy, um, Roland, in the actual comments right above has actually tried them. And he said he likes them. He's actually caught fish on them already. And he hasn't had them too long. So, I hear good things. I will say they look pretty similar to uh, some other brands of baits. But I personally haven't used them quite yet. I'm getting a lot of requests. So, that may be, have to be something I may buy pretty soon. Is one of the Guggen baits just to give them a shot. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Michael, what's going on, man? Good to have you in the house, bro. Let's see. Peyton said, I've only been catching a few of Charlie Elliott. It's tough, man. Give it a little bit more time to when the fall season comes in. Well, it's in now, but it's still kind of hot. So we got a little bit more time, guys. We're going to crush it. So in probably about a month, the fish will be really biting. I'm actually starting to catch some in top water right now, so I can't wait till it cools down just a little bit more so those big girls come up a little bit closer. Let's see, a dose of real fishing a tournament Sunday. Good luck, bro. Hopefully you kill them, man. Uh, Gavin said, bro, what state do you stay in? Uh, I'm in Georgia, man. I'm a Georgia boy. I actually live in Athens, Georgia. Let's see, a dose of real grass lake. What would you throw? All right, so if you're on a grass lake, one thing I recommend uh, you can throw a chatterbait right above the grass. It depends on how much the grass is in there. You also can throw a um, a Texas rig, uh, soft plastic trick worm, uh, also a Senko. Uh, you can go with a bait like this if you have any like um, like five inch little swim baits. Um, rig them up wheelless on a swim bait hook. They do phenomenal. Um, they go right to the grass. You actually can swim them on the top of the surface with a weighted belly hook. Um, like a top water bait, like the Gambler Big Easy. I know you're in Florida, so that Gambler Big Easy is a great bait to throw down there, man. Uh, they come in a different sizes. Gambler Big Easy, uh, with the swim bait hook will be a perfect one for you, man, because those bass should be tightly moving and feeding up. Let's see. Jerry Adams, in a month, we're going to feast. You know it, man. We're going to be eating, man. Cooking. We're eating, baby. <laughs> Peyton. Ready to catch some on the five inch hard body brim swim bait at Charlie Elliott. Any tips? <clears throat> uh, Peyton, do you have um, the multi jointed one or is it more like a glad bait? Because there's a couple different approaches to it. Um, if it's a glad bait, you can do like four real hand, hand turns, then pop, pop. You can do six real hand turns, then pop, pop. Uh, one thing for me with the uh, glad baits is it's multi jointed. All right, perfect. So with multi jointed swim baits, you want to say subsurface, use it around, I would say like four to six inches above the top of the water. Um, you can reel it, you can give it a couple pops. For me, a lot of times what happens is change of speeds, um, reeling it at a constant speed, then speed up. One other thing you can also do is, if you do get a follower, I know it seems crazy to your mind to think this way, if you see a follower and it's hot and heavy on it, speed it up. Because what that does is trigger that bass, like the prey and um, the prey slash hunter mentality. So when they see that bait take off quickly, they want to come up and eat it. Now, sometimes they'll eat it. Sometimes they'll go away. But for me, 
A lot of the OGs in the Swim Bay community say, like, once they're falling, it, speed it up or give it a couple pops. And uh, in their head, they're like, oh, I better get it. So that may help you. Hopefully, that helps you out, man. Let's see. Rovin, hey, Peyton, we should fit some time at Peyton Manning. Y'all boys, I mean, at Peyton. <laughs> and Charlie, like, yeah, y'all boys should link up, man. D Far is 917. Hey, man, I'm near you in Loganville. Okay, yeah, Loganville's right down the road. We need to hook up and do some fishing. Maybe we can, maybe you can teach me some tricks. I do my best, man. Hopefully, we can meet up pretty soon. Loganville is not too far away from me. All right, so let's get into a couple more things. All right, cool. <clears throat> now, for some of the other baits I know you guys were asking about and want me to see, these are pretty wild. I got them in two colors, and that is the Magnum Crawfish. These things are insane. What's going on, Shauna? <laughs> These things are really insane, man. They are massive. I ordered them because I wanted something that's big and pretty insane. They're ridiculous, man. So let's get into these. I got two colors. The first one is a green pumpkin. I know it doesn't look big, but this, this trust me. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. It's bigger than my finger. <laughs> this thing is massive, man. <clears throat> and this, the closet itself. To kind of give you an idea, that's how big they are. This thing is ridiculous. So that's the green pumpkin color. I know the lighting is not the best, but it's massive. And what I hear from these when you throw them, they slowly flutter down like that. So it is big. And this one, Jared, when they get on big, I got to give you a couple of these dudes. This thing is huge, and I know they're not going to be able to resist it. So those double-digit bass, they better watch out. <laughs> Andrea says, damn, it's a huge crowd. This thing is insane. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Don, hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you like the fishing channel, man. I really appreciate the support. So let me show you guys the other color in this thing. So, and that is the black version. This is the black one. It actually has uh, red flakes in it, like red metal flakes. So, black. And we got green pumpkin. And that's a comparison to my hand. My hand, see, this thing is massive. So, when, before I bought this bait, I actually hit up the people who made it and on Facebook. And they actually got back with me and told me immediately uh, what size hook that I needed. Because I knew I needed a big hook. I just didn't know what size hook that I would need for a massive bait. So, let me show you guys the hooks. So, I wanted to try out a different type of hooks. My homeboy, Kim uses uh, the choke art hooks a lot. And these are choke art hooks. This is a size nine out hook. Um, I, was, I actually can use the beast hook too, but I have this choke out hook. This one's actually a weightless version. Um, the manual fact there is a particular base that you can use anything between a seven out and a 10 out hook. I mean, guys, this is a massive bait, so you need a good size hook. So I will be flipping and pitching this one. I know on braid, when they're on bed or either just flipping mats or whatever with a pig weight, it should be phenomenal. This is a big bait. And we're gonna try to drop some bombs right on top of some bass head with these. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully I can catch a big bass on one of these particular baits because they are truly messy. So those two baits are the shell bait and this one was the Magnum Mauler. They actually make a smaller one that you can put on a jig hook too. This one you can put on the jig, but it's going to take a pretty massive jig with a super strong hook. <clears throat> and with the mauler baits between 7 and 10 uh, out hook. So, just one more look at that one. That's actually the shell back one too, man. Like I said, they have numerous sizes. 8, this one's a 6, and I think they actually made like a 5 and maybe even a 3. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, but pretty weird looking little bait made around the beast size 10 out hook if you guys want to try them out you can find this uh, company on uh, instagram and also facebook same as with the magnum book baits so we'll put these back up guys and we'll get back to a couple of things and i actually have two colors of these and i want one more of them maybe in that eight inch version uh usually these baits work good more so along fall then we get more in towards winter you can throw more something like the hood this tail moves a lot more uh, with a bit like a hood. It's a little bit not so frantic. This one moves a ton. The hood is more subtle. Um, that's going to be what you want to use when it gets a lot more cooler. 
So hopefully both of these baits will get bit pretty soon. I do plan on doing some fishing this week, too. So, all right, let's get back into these comments, guys. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. <laughs> let's see. Jerry said, Magnum, Rage Bug, gonna kill it, too. You're absolutely right, Jerry. Those Rage uh, baits are no joke, man. Dope so real. You're planning on getting a boat. Ah, this is always the elephant in the room. I am uh, starting to look. I need a boat. I feel like it could be huge for the channel. Uh, especially this time of year when we actually get into the later part of fall and winter. I feel like I missed the opportunity to catch a lot of big fish this deep. When it gets cold, they go deep. And as a shore fisherman, that's a really big challenge. And honestly, between December and January and February, that's when the bass are going to be at their biggest point. Right before uh, they get on bed and uh, pretty much lay their eggs. So... I am trying to make something happen with a boat. Um, it's probably going to be like a John boat or like one of those Sun Dolphin type boats. One of those type of boats. I was going to get a kayak, but I want to be able to stand up fishing and be confident that I'm not going to fall. And I like throwing swimming baits, so I want to be able to lay into that fish and make sure that hook is in a bass really good. So those are going to be two of the options. And also with a, a John boat or like a Sun Dolphin type boat, I can take somebody with me. Um, out on the water when I'm exploring new areas. All right, let's see. Jerry Adams, jumbo and hit me, hit me up. Jumbo and hit up the small lake out deep. You're right, man. You're absolutely right. It does the real. Let's see. I'm trying to read what you said. Facts. You can see mine on Instagram. It's coming along. Bet, man. I'll check it out. Uh, Roman said, "Don't get a sun dolphin." <laughs> man, what's up, bro? You don't like the sun dolphin, man? If you could, man, just kind of break it down to me, man. Um, I like to hear both sides of the story. Uh, Roman said he could stand up in his kayak. I know kayaks are really cool. And honestly, man, it may be one of those things. Like, I may get a, a John Boat or a Sun Dolphin, like, right now. And then next year, get a John, get a, um, actually, a kayak. Because I think it is some advantages to having a kayak in super skinny waters. Um rivers creeks and uh it's a lot of cool people out there who fish on the kayaks and i wouldn't mind meeting up with some of those people too all right let's see what are you guys going to be throwing for fall do you have any plans um for me it's going to be top water um while you know fish are feeding up and, and swim baits that's what i'm going to be using right now primarily for the most part uh i love that top water bait bite it gets your heart thumping and uh, moving baits, chatter baits. I got some really cool chatter baits also that I want to try out and buzz baits. Let's see. Jared Adams, big jump boat is where it's at. Our Pelican Bass Raider. That thing is amazing. Yeah, I heard really good things about the Pelican Bass Raider. So I'm going to be looking at that one too. You know, hey, catching big bass on a small boat. Let's see. Dos Real hit me up in the chest. Uh, Dulce Real, what you mean by that, man? Let's see. Uh, Roland says, they're not stable, man. Crappy. They're not stable, man. Definitely get what you pay for in the cat game. Let's see. Get a nice seat, too, since you'll be in the seat for a while. That is true. Uh, Roland said, I got a Vive seat goes 7.5. I heard pretty good things about a Vive. Roland, I actually fell out of a Vive. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> If you go back and watch my old videos, man, I fell out of the vibe kayak. But I, I don't hold them against them, man. I was a rookie to it, man. Dose of real. Read my before comment. First time on a kayak. First time on a kayak bass came out. The water hit me in the chest. Damn, bro. You was ripping lips for real. Let me go back and read your comment. <laughs> Got to type my bass in the kayak. No more for me, man. <laughs> that is no good, man. Hey, did you at least catch it, man? Does it hit you in the chest? Yeah, these bass are a savage out here, man. You got to watch out. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. That is no good, man. Let's see, Robin. I guess because I'm good at swimming, I feel more confident in the kayak. Um, I'm pretty good on swimming, bro. Uh, I wouldn't want to have to swim a quarter of a mile back to the shore. Uh, but I think some kayaks are cool. If I did get one, it'd probably be more so like, you know, like a Hobie or something like that. What's going on, Comp? Compass Angler, been doing well in the chatters, and you know I'm throwing top water until I see snow. My man, <laughs> I have the same backpack you flipped on. <laughs> hey, bro, 
you probably a little bit more seasoned with that kayak than me, man. And yeah, I bust my ass on that kayak, man. But um, chatters, I'm definitely gonna be throwing them too, man. Um, compass angler, what kind of trailer are you using on your chatter baits? Uh, just so we all know, man, so we can stay on those bass like you. And top water was something I wanted to improve upon this year. So that's something um, I'm going to be throwing, uh, I guess, like you say, into the snowfalls, man. And one way I really like fishing more than other ways, lily pads. For some odd reason now, I have a fascination for lily pads. Um, I love the blow-ups. I love fishing with frogs on those lily pads. And uh, the gamble will be easy. I know it's always a risk, man. When you fish lily pads, it's always sketchy. But it's such a adrenaline rush, and it's so much fun, man. A dose of real... Yes, bro. You got alligators in Florida, and I understand why he says it's a no-go for you. Big hook six, T to the kayak is a no-go for me. Bro, I swing away, man. Like, when they say swing away, Merle, I swing away. I swing for the fences. That was my problem in baseball. Uh, I swung as hard as I could every time, man. I'm not a finesse guy, and I probably mess around and flip that bad boy. Uh, swing away, you know. I try to get them bass hell. Let's see, uh... Gavin says Shimano is definitely the best by far. I like Shimano, man. I'm a big Shimano guy. I like Shimano reels. Um, far as rides, I, I like to mix it up. But uh, it's hard to beat a good Shimano reel. They definitely are great products. Let's see. Guys, I want to make sure that I didn't miss any comments and everything like that. So let me go back up and just kind of check out everything, too. Let's see. See. All right, guys. I think we pretty much got everything caught up for the most part. Let me go back down. Let's see. But hopefully, uh, fairly soon, guys, I can try to do some crappy fishing. Um, that's actually on my radar. Uh, I haven't caught any crappy in a while, and frankly, they taste pretty well too. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a couple saltwater videos. Going after some redfish, uh, flounder, and let's see, redfish, flounder, maybe stingrays. You know, it's ever, you never know what you're gonna catch in the ocean. So that's probably what you're gonna expect from me uh, going into the latter part of the year. Of course, I'm going bass fishing, that's a no, no brainer. But um, two or three saltwater fishing videos, uh, a collab with a really cool dude that I've been talking to for a while. Uh, it'll be out of the left field. But I think you guys will enjoy it. It will be uh, different. Uh, and we'll see what goes on for there, man. And maybe I can make another trip down to Florida and fish with some friends on there, too. Let's see, Compass Angler. I'm using Sim Senkos because they work in Reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers. Sweet Beavers are no joke, man. Uh, also, Swim Jigs work really great this time of the year. I was using some Reaction Innovation as a trailer on those. It's funny. The name has trailers right now. Sweet Beavers because it's a funny name. Ask trailers right now. <laughs> Got you, it is. It's the trip, man. <clears throat> Compass Angular, uh, Z Man Razor Shads last forever as well. Okay, now see the Z Man Razor Shads, I haven't checked those out, but I will do so. Um, that's definitely something that I want to uh, check out. That Chatterbait, man, it is hard to beat once you get confidence in it. Let's see, uh, Robin, I got my first big glad bait. What kind did you get, Robin? What kind of glad bait you get? Let's see. It's a 9 inch Lotto Shad. I don't know that one. So I'm going to have to do my research, man. I know you're stealing the Lotto Shad. Also, guys, I have one thing to tell you. I lost my first expensive swim bait. Ugh, at least I caught a fish on it, but I took a major L. It was not good, man. I lost my first swim bait. But at least I caught a fish on it, and I'm going to have to order another one. So I took an L, guys, big time. All right, let's see. Uh, Adosa Real says, Bantam or the Scorpion? Ooh, two phenomenal reels, man. Um, I personally haven't held the Bantam in my hands before. It looks super intriguing. The Scorpion, I have. The Scorpion is pretty solid, man. Um, what about the Corrado DC, man? Because um, I have the Corrado K, and I know it's supposed to be loosely based upon that platform. So, uh... If I, I would have to say, man, if the Corrado DC is uh, what I would recommend for you, man. 
Um, I don't know if you ever had a DC reel, but it's always cool to have one of those in the collections. And those things cast a mile. Now, this has been real. I would say the Maya uh, Corrado K outcast the Scorpion most of the time itself for throwing things like whopper ploppers, um, spook type baits, streamline baits. The Scorpion throws a mile, man. You can look at some of my videos, like the one in second line when I caught the bass on the whopper plopper. That thing casts a mile and with top water. Uh, I think it's it's one of the most important things to have a reel that can get your uh, actual bait out there a long ways, cover more ground. Let's see. Jared says, take a look at the Mega Bass um, ventilation sick. Okay, yeah, I definitely check it out, Jared. I know you stay on it, man. Let's see, Dicado, I got the DC there, dope, bruh. Those DC are no joke, man. How do you like it, Dicado? I mean, I know it's good, man. Um, I was thinking about getting one, but I have the Scorpion. But uh, I think the size of the Corrado DC is a little bit better than the Scorpion. The Scorpion, you can't really tell from most uh, pictures, but it's a fairly small reel. It's fairly compact. I mean, I can fish it for like eight hours and have no fatigue in my hands because I just pump it. But it's fairly small. It doesn't have much line. Uh, you can almost spool it, just being real. Kenny Mock Fishing. What's going on, bro? It's good to have you in the house, man. Kenny. You have been on a roll, man. I've been seeing those bass you've been catching, man. Especially the one on the rack. <laughs> Let's see. Let me make sure I catch up. Uh, those are real. When you come to Florida, I'm, I'm hitting at something. <laughs> hey, I actually those are real, man. How far are you away from the peacocks, man? I know they bite better in spring, but I really want to catch some peacocks sooner or later. So I'm going to have to make that a prerogative to get down there and catch some peacocks or some snakeheads, man. <clears throat> Roving. All right, man. I lost the donut, man. <laughs> I lost the donut shad, man. RIP to the donut shad, man. That was one of my favorite glad baits. And guys, it is glad bait season right now. It is glad bait season. So I actually talked to the maker of the donut shad, and I have another one on order. But I can't keep spending this much of money on our swim baits, man. They get crazy expensive. But if I do have to say, uh, if it's a couple more swim baits I do want pretty soon, it's the Roman May Negotiator. And I also want the, um, what's that thing called? The Delps NZ Crawler. Uh, it's an insane topwater bait. It has like wings on it and it just rolls back and forth. It looks retarded, but uh, it's a cool looking bait. Let me catch back up with these comment guys. Let's see. Dicato, it's super smooth and can cast it with no back lashes. Yeah, man, those DC reels are insane. Uh, have you tried skipping it? It is so much easier to skip a, a lure with a bait casting reel once you get everything like set up. Um, they're really legit. Uh, Jared, when are we going after some strollies? Jared, we gotta make it happen. I know I talk big, big about catching some strollies, and I still wanna catch one, man. Uh, we gotta find some people to leak up to and make this happen. Strollies are on my bucket list. So I need to get some strollies this year and some crappy. I think that will make for a phenomenal year. So we need to make that happen. Let's see. Okay, no problem, man. Let's see, Jared, I got some strolly spots, man. You know what? We need to make it happen, guys. We need to get on these stroll bass. They're definitely a bucket list fish. Those are real on um, four hours. Best time is around June and July when they spawn. Okay, bet, man. Uh, we hit, let me see. Sorry, man. Uh, I got off. We hit so many spots on the side of the road and fested with them. Let me know when, and I got some comfort, contacts down south. Okay, perfect, man. Uh, usually June and July is like a slower time frame for me. So um, that might be the move, man. That's my bucket list fish. So, man, we'll stay in contact with each other, man, and we'll make it happen. Let's see, Compass Angler, as the grass dies down around my way, I'm switching over to Wheelers List and Rig Swim Base. Big Cat Ticks and Mega Bass Mag Draft. I heard great things about the Mag Draft. Let's see, Mag Draft as well. Hus Produce too. Hate losing stuff. Whoo, Roman Made, yeah. The Roman Made is super not expensive. The Mother is like 500. The Negotiator is around 125, but they're always sold out, man. So. I'm going to have to try to find some on some of these swim bait sites that's maybe used or whatnot. But uh, I hate losing swim baits. Um, Compass Angler, have you tried the uh, like the big I text? I know you said it, 
like what is seven point eight? I'm kind of interested in those that cat tech stuff. Usually works really great. A roving I caught some strolls before. Nice man. Like I have it here, man, but I want to. Let's see. What's going on, Brock three ten? Are uh, you watching the Connor and McGregor fight? Yes, I plan on watching it, man. That should be freaking epic. So I will definitely be watching it. Who you going for, man? Let's see. Hey, Ken, what's up, man? We got a legend in the house, man. <laughs> Good to have you on here, buddy. Let's see. Robin, uh, got them on the river, man. If you can get a kayak, we can get to the strollies. Ooh, man, kayaks on the river? I don't know, bro. I got some bad feelings about that, man. I don't want to lose any more stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Those are real, man. Brain more than one lipless square bill. They have teeth and destroy it. Let's see there with the hook off. All right, cool, man. Real do. So I'm going to stock up, man, on those, man. And hopefully we can make something happen in uh, June and July to catch some peacock bass. That has definitely been a bucket list type fish. Let's see, uh, Jared. Nah, I'm out now. <laughs> I ain't about that life. Hey, Jared, man, I'm about like you, man. I don't know about, you know, fishing on kayaks in the rivers quite yet, man. Your boy, uh, I can swim, but I ain't trying to die, man. I want y'all to keep seeing these videos. Let's see. Brock says, uh, McGregor for sure been a fan since 2014. He would never be another man <clears throat> in the UFC like him. McGregor is cool, man. He's like a boxer almost, man. He talks trash, but he gets the job done. Uh, if I had to put my money on somebody, it would be McGregor. Let's see. Compass Angler. Only throwing the six inches right now. Mag drops are straight fire. Man, I heard really great things about those mag drafts, so I'm gonna have to pick up a couple. Uh, I think they'll definitely get bit. Let's see. <laughs> uh, Robin said, I was wrong with floating the river. There's no rapids. I don't know, bro. I'm gonna have to check it out, man. I will have to see, man. We may have to find some spots off the shore, man. So we'll check it out and see what's going on, man. All right, let's see. Dosa Rail 10 4. You ever think of uh, spool speed bearings? Uh, yeah, man. I see you in my swim bait. Uh, real. I had it for a while. I think they probably could be pretty beneficial. Now, those real tell me, do they affect the drag any of your reels? And also, do they affect the chance that you'll actually uh, burden this a little bit more? I know you get some casting distance. I just don't know a ton about it quite yet, man. But uh, I would love to actually put some on my swim bait reel. I had it for about a year and a half and it's taken a beating. And for real, it's actually quite dirty. So, um, yeah, man, this, uh, tell me some info about it, man. I don't know the most about it right now. Jared said we need to take a trip to Hammond soon. You're right, man. We should record it, man, and let everybody see about it. Um, I hear Hammond's is an epic shop, so, and I wouldn't mind checking out something there. And, you know, you, they usually have different things than most, uh, potential, uh, let's see, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, and Dick's. Let's see, uh, those are real not at all. But that's good to hear, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into those bearings and uh, see what the deal is with them. Uh, Roving, well, I guess we could weigh the river, but that takes forever. It would take a while, man. Um, uh, but we have to see, man. We can have to try to lie, uh, line something up and see what we can make happen, Roving. I definitely want to catch some show bass, so that has to be in the works for me. Let's see, um, Brock 310. Have you ever thrown a trickler frog before? I've been looking at them, but I've seen them at Dicks for 15. Yeah, the trickler fog is expensive, man. I actually have one. Uh, it does get bit. Now, it is not quite as weedless as some presentations, but it's a decent bait, man. It gets hit. Now, just to kind of be realistic with you, it's more like a whopper plopper with that tail in the back. Uh, it makes that gurgling sound, uh, but it's it's productive, and uh, it is more weedless than a uh, whopper plopper. So it's a pretty pretty cool little bait. It is expensive at fifteen bucks. But um, it definitely gets bit, though. I will say that. Let's see. Uh, a dose of real, man. Hell, I'm connected. I don't know if you follow the dose of real on Instagram. I do, man. Um, but I service reels. Drag not affected at all. And also, bird nest, I can't say it changed at all. I spool the Benham on 200, on 20 pound braid. That's solid, man. I don't think, I don't run backing. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit you up so we can talk a little bit more about it. Um, I got a couple of reels that need to be clean, so um, maybe we can work something out and make something happen. But I would definitely be interested in getting some of those bearings probably put on my swim bait reel. Let's see. 
Let's see, Compass Angle Super Jelly of all you guys chicks know Southern Strain Bass. They're pretty neat, man. I will say that too. Let's see, uh, another strain don't get as big because of the cold water starting this year. All right, started the year in Florida and got spoiled with those big uh, sort of toes. Yeah, Florida is ridiculous, man. I've been down there a couple of times, man. And every time I go to Florida, man, I love it even more. It makes me want to move down there and kind of chase those massive bass. And that saltwater fishing down there, from what I hear, is pretty epic, too. Um, but Colorado seems pretty neat and intriguing, too, man. I know you guys have some, uh, I think, what, do you you guys have trout? And also you have, um, what's the other fish, too, man? Like salmon, maybe? So I think that would be pretty cool to fish there, too, man. Let's see, Brock210, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate the response. Love to continue on your channel. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. All right, let's see what Jerry Adams says, going deer hunting in the AM night found. Hey, Jerry, good luck to you, man. Hopefully you keep, uh, get a big one, man. 150 inches, man, on my boat would be epic, man. So, good luck to you, bro. Those are real. Yeah, man, hit me up on NG, IG when you get some time, and we will definitely talk some more about it. Okay, bit. Saltwater gang got crazy with that red tad. I hear, man, I hear it's affecting everything. So hopefully it doesn't mess up the waterways too much, man. That is not good, man. Especially with, you know, so many great spots down in Florida. Yeah. Let's see. Also, man, um, how's that Bantam reel? I, I heard good things about it, man. I know it's like a, based off the OG one, which is a really cool reel, man. Uh, Shimano makes such good stuff, man. I just haven't seen any in store. I had, hadn't been able to kind of play around with them any. <clears throat> And also, too, guys, like I said, I'm starting to get into the frog fishing a little bit more. Do you guys have any recommendations on some really cool frogs and frogs that you feel that were best for you? Um, I looked at one called like the Mega Fox that was really neat, man. Um, I think, I don't know where is it actually, uh, actually made in, but um, they have some really cool designs. And I feel like I always like having stuff that other people don't have. I feel like that's really cool. Especially in those high pressure areas. Let me read a couple of these comments, man. Uh, Dosa Real says it's been the best investment so far on the panel. Let's see. Day one when I brought it, I put the bearings on it. Let's see. All right, let me check this out. Dosa Real, the Jacko Karang Frog is my go-to. Mm, excuse me, guys. So I'm gonna check that one out too, man. Um, I'm definitely trying to get a couple more frogs. Right now, I only have about three or four. Um, and I'm trying to get probably six or seven. I need a couple popping ones. Popping ones. I only have one right now, which is the Spro. So I'll be looking around and trying to see what I can find. Let's see. Yeah, the Benham, Benham was the best money I spent. Okay, cool, 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 man. But I do think you like the Corrado DC. That platform is pretty solid. Like I said, I have the Scorpion. The Scorpion is really cool, man. Um, I forgot what else you said. Yeah, you, you said you had a Benham already too. So, I'm looking at the Tranks just for a swim bait reel. Um, the size 300. That's the model I want to get. Um, I think I need one more swim bait setup. That way I'm not having to change everything and I can have two setups and I can switch it back and forth. Let's see. Dosa reel. No cap. I didn't buy the Corrado K because you had it. I'm no hater. <laughs> all right, it's all good, bro. It is all good, man. We all got our own lane. So... <laughs> no worries man I just want to also say to you guys thanks so much for watching the content thanks for subscribing to my channel man I really appreciate it and it motivates me every day you know uh, just to try to grind harder meet more people and try to find new spots to fish at and chase those big bass man cause my goal legitly is to catch a 10 pound bass for you guys and hopefully I can make that happen pretty soon man um, I haven't caught that 10 pounder yet I think I had one that was close to it, maybe even 10, but I had no scale. I want to get a giant bass on film documented and uh, get it on my big bass board. Uh, you never know, guys. Next year, maybe the year, I still have December, and I'm going to be fishing these big baits. I'm going to be fishing hard. I don't care if it's snowing, raining, zero degrees. Your boy will be out there trying to bring you guys good content. So, just want to say thanks again. All right, Compass Angler. He said, uh, Trout is king here. So many species. Got my first walleye. Hey, walleye are amazing, man. They're pretty cool fish, man. I haven't caught a walleye yet. Also, uh, he said, Try the River to see Bully. 
why why it seems to work to me uh frog wise i'm no expert okay so thanks guys that's a couple of frogs that i'm gonna actually check out and see man like i said i'm trying to increase my arsenal and this truthfully man i used to be a hardcore um like plastics guy but i kind of just changed man i fished plastics hard for like five six years straight man i was a hardcore texas rig guy uh black trick worm <laughs> green pucking trick worm Junebird chick worm, that was my go-to everywhere. So I'm actually gonna start mixing it up, guys. You'll see mostly top water, swim baits, a few chatter baits here and there, big baits. Uh, I just like fishing big baits, chasing those big baits. Let's see what's going on, Kim. Let's say, hey man, what's going on? Uh, I want to say hey to you and my fishing buddies. It's good to have you in the house, Kim. Uh, as always, man, it's been a pleasure, man, to fish with you. Let's see. Robin said, I got some of the Guggen baits. Slim Shake, I like them better than Trick Worms. I'm telling you, they're sick. All right, Robin, I have to check them out. But like I say, man, I kind of switching things up a little bit more, man. If I, and I, if I do fish, switch worm, fish worms, a lot of time it's those big worms, man. Um, those 12 inch plus size worms. Now, I can't lie to you, like my buddy Kim say, man, if they biting a Cinco, he throwing a Cinco. Uh, and he's a stick, so that's my buddy too. So I get that. But I'm trying to chase these giant bass, man. <clears throat> Kenny Mock Fishing. What do you use to edit your videos, Eric? I need help making a video. No doubt. All right. So, Kenny, I use a Final Cut Pro. I've been using that for the past two years. Um, that's just what I'm used to. I hear some really great other programs out there. But um, that's what I use. It takes me a while. But I'm used to it. Uh, what you can do also, I used to use a desktop computer. You can use a laptop. But I think with that type of editing equipment, you need a desktop or either a laptop. Um, if you go to Apple, you actually can download a 30-day trial period. And uh, you can use that and see what you think about it. And if you hit me up a little bit later on, man, I can tell you a trick, man, that works. You know what? Forget it. I'll tell you guys all the trick. <clears throat> with that 30-day trial period, what you also can do is if you change the date on your computer to the time frame which you put the uh, program on your computer, and reset the date you can just keep using it over and over and over and over and you, when you get ready to post a video online just change your date back to the current date so if you want to keep using the program more than 30 days just change the date on your computer and then when you want to post the video then you put the date as the current date Shh, don't tell anybody i told you that i don't want to get in trouble with apple and i don't want to get sued uh but just an angle it's a $300 program. I'm probably going to buy it eventually, but right now, I ain't worried about it. I'm going to keep thugging it. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Compass Angler says, 9-inch uh, mag drop will get you that 10 plus. You can thank me on hell film. Bro, when I get it, when I buy that 9-inch mag drop and I catch a 10-pounder, I will thank you on film and I will send you a couple of colors, my man, because that's what I want. It's a 10 pound bass. Let's see. Brock310 says, Thanks for the tip. Ha ha ha. Because that program is so expensive. Bruh, it is stupid expensive, man. So I just want to help you guys out the same way that, you know, people have helped me out. Um, it's a great program. Um, I love it. Once you get the hang of it and you actually can watch like YouTube tutorials on it, you'll get really good with it, man. And it, and it works really good. Let's see. Robin, been spending too much money. Bruh, I've been spending way too much money. And the more I figure out fishing baits, like I found frogs now. So that's another addiction, man. They ain't cheap. Uh, swim baits are ridiculous, you know. Rods and reels, the Tranix, another expensive type of uh, product. So, but hey, man, I fish hard. Um, I want to bring you guys good videos. So I want to have, you know, great stuff to do it with. And soon, I'm going to get a boat. And that's when I think things are really take off for this channel. And hopefully, I get that 10-pounder. But guys, I think I'm going to call it a night, man. My battery is dying slowly on my actual uh, uh, phone. Um, and I don't want it to die on you guys. But uh, we're going to call it a night. And let me see. I got one more question I'm going to answer right here before I actually uh, call it a night, man. The question is, uh, what's your top three swim baits? Okay. Top three swim baits for me. Um, dang, I want to say including the ones I don't have. All right, top three swim baits. All right, so the swim bait I want the most is the Hinkle. 
but I don't have the proper setup to throw it. Number one would be the hinkle. It gets bit. Uh, I think that flash when it glides is incredible. I gotta throw this one in here. Uh, the bull shad, one reason is, the bull shad is a search bait. You can fish it fast uh, and target different areas very quickly. The glad bait, you have to work and take your time with it. Um, the next one, <clears throat> what I'm gonna say next. All right, so we got one glad, and then we got one top water. Now this one is not one of my preferences, but for most people it gets bit, that's gonna be a HUD. The classic eight inch HUD. Um, it's a staple in the swimming community. It gets bit. Um, I don't have, I got one HUD. Uh, I'm not the best with the HUD quite yet. This year, I'm going to put in some work in it. So, the Hinkle, the Bull Shad, and the HUD. Those three cover all your bases. The HUD on the bottom, the Bull Shad is a search bait, the Hinkle is a glide bait, which, you know, you can entice those fish. It has incredible draw power. So, and the Donut Shad would be great also. Uh, the Hinkle is super expensive. The Donut Shad is like a hundred dollars, and it's hand carved made out of wood. So those would be my three swim baits. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple more too, um, pretty soon. I don't think it's gonna be a Hinkle quite yet because I have to get the right setup. Um, but for me, the the Roman Negotiator is gonna be one of the next ones I buy. And then also I gotta buy another uh, Donut Shad too. And maybe <laughs> see, this is the problem. Well, I do have my, let me pull them out, the shell bags. And if I like these a lot, I actually probably get a, the 8 inch version of the shell bag. And then I actually uh, use a size 12 inch beast hook, the 12 out beast hook for that bait. Y'all be on the lookout for these shell bag baits. I'm going to be throwing them a whole lot. So hopefully I get bit pretty soon on those, man. They're like the perfect snack size. Let's see. Uh, Kenny Ma says hoods are incredible and they're affordable. They are. Let's see, Compass Angler says, I'm a Mega Bass fan, not endorsed, but I'm trying. Let's see, but I'm trying Mega Bass USA, you listening. <laughs> All right, and Dosa Reel, shoot me the name of that swim bait reel, and I'll see what bearings fit it. Will do, buddy. Hey, you guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope I can continue to bring you phenomenal video, and I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, tight lines, and hopefully you guys get on that fall bat and catch a giant. And if you do, Tag me on Instagram, man. I definitely want to check it out. Y'all have a great night. Take care.